Hi guys, I'm Sam. I work for Recreation. We're the distributors of Razor Scooters in the UK. Today I'm going to take you through some key points of our electric range. Okay, first I'm going to talk about charging the batteries. We recommend an overnight charge before and after each use. If there's going to be a period where you won't be using the scooters as much, say the kids have just got back to school, then we recommend charging at least once a month just to make sure the battery doesn't die. And then basically all you have to do is plug, it, plug this in here, make sure it's switched off before you do it. Uh, and then the red light will go on, which means it's charging. And um, this applies to all of our electric scooters. So in our electric range, we have the E90, the E100, the E200 and the E300. Um, the E90 and the E100, they basically have a safety feature, which is they will not start from a standstill position. So you need to basically get them going up to three miles an hour um, before you start the throttle. Right, I'll demonstrate how to start an E90. Switch it on first. You see here, if you just press the throttle, nothing will happen. So you've got to scoot it along three miles an hour. Okay, so it's the same with an E100. The only difference is the twist throttle rather than the button. Uh, switch it on again. You can see nothing happens just by twisting. So get going to three miles an hour. Okay, with the E200 and the E300, there's no need to kick start. You just turn the throttle. But we often get asked about how to inflate the rear tyres. To do this, there's an extender valve on the throttle side of the handles. Just take that out. And then in front of the rear tyre, you just remove the window cover there. And turn the wheel until you see the valve inside. And just screw that on there. And attach the pump. Okay, so now I'll show you how to inflate the tyre of an E300. Once again, take out the extender valve. Now for an E300 you have to turn the wheel one way to open up the gap. And then once you've found the gap, then you have to turn it back to find the valve. Okay. Stick in your pump and you're away. So now you've followed these simple instructions, you're ready to burn some rubber.